Here we are for the June 2015 Gaming PC Builds of the Month. My name is Corey, here with NoobComputerBuild.com. Here we are, another month of Gaming PC Builds. I have posted the usual $600, $1,000, $1,500 dollars builds for uh, June 2015. This month there have been some significant changes for those who are interested in uh, kind of the higher range build, the $1,500 build, so keep tuned for that with a brand new um, graphics card just released. So uh, yeah, so stay tuned and uh, we'll get started with the $1,500 gaming PC build first. Uh, and for all of those wondering, uh, links to the hardware are in the description below for each of the separate builds. As well, there is an attachment to this article at noobcomputerbuild.com. Come visit here, comment, contribute uh, uh, some thoughts if you like, uh, whatever you like. But uh, also on the site, I have an attachment to this, which is the peripherals article, which will go through the keyboards, mice, and monitors. Uh, recommendations for these, uh, which are separated into three categories as well. So if you're interested in that, come visit the website. Um, so getting started though with a $1,500 gaming PC build, uh, it comes out to $1,490, which is a great, great price considering uh, what we have in store this month. The processor is the Intel Core i5-4690K, which has been the usual for a while, for $235.99. The cooler is the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo for $31.24. Uh, which is good for overclocking your uh, 4690K there. Uh, keep those temps down. The motherboard we have again is MSI uh, Z97 Gaming 5, $134.99. And then here is the new addition to this build, which is the new GTX 980Ti, which is uh, uh, approximately 20 to 30% faster than the what I had uh, recommended in this build previously, which is the GTX 980. And this comes out to $649.99. This was just released, so uh, keep in mind that there might be limited supply if you try to buy it right away, but just keep checking back, and it should be around that price, and it fits nicely into the $1,500 PC build here. If not, you can still go and get uh, a GTX 980 and still get great performance out of your PC build, but if this is your budget, I do recommend getting the GTX 980 Ti. You know, why not if, uh, if, if you can afford it? Otherwise, save a few bucks and... Uh, quite a few bucks and get the gtx 980 instead moving on for the ram this month we have the kingston hyperx fury 16 gigabyte kit that's two eight gigabyte sticks of ram here so for the, that's at 99.99 this is the cheapest i've seen a kit of 16 gigabytes i think ever <laughs> um well in quite a long time because ram went up for quite a while and now it's down and it's gone down every single month pretty much but this is a nice looking kit of ram anyway too so uh now moving on for the hard drive we have a seagate one terabyte desktop hdd fifty dollars 97 cents and to pair with that we have an ssd such as the samsung 850 evo not uh the read write speed is not as fast as the ssd that i included last month and not the capacity isn't as large but i kind of downgraded the ssd just a little bit to squeeze in that 980 ti uh so look in the alternative or i'll go through the alternatives below here uh, in just a minute but uh, you'll see if you want some upgrade suggestions for that, uh, a few down there. So this is a, a cheaper SSD for $67.99 and still a better, it'll perform much better than just the Seagate hard drive in my opinion. Uh, much better. And so now for the power supply, we have the EVGA 750G2 uh, 750 watt power supply, $110.99. Uh, the case this month is the NZXD S340, $69.99. chose this. To, it's kind of a newer-ish case, and I chose it because I like its sleek look. It's a uh, mid-tower case, keep in mind, uh, and it fits nicely into this budget. And also, as a note, the optical drive is included as per usual, $18.25 if you want to get this light on 24 times optical drive. However, keep in mind, the NZXT S340 will not support... Uh, it doesn't have space for it in, inside the case. And so if you want to get an opt optical drive because you want to install your OS or some old software you have, you can uh, kind of take the side off the case, plug it into the motherboard, install what you need, and unplug it and throw it in the trash or throw it in the bookshelf, whatever you want to do with it until you need to use it next time. Or kind of uh, install your software using a USB stick or something likewise like, 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 like that and kind of skip the optical drive and save the $20.00. Or so uh, up to you but uh, now moving on to kind of the alternatives for the $1,500 build or 
kind of upgrade suggestions if you have a little more money or want upgrades for the future. So you can get this Intel Core i7-4790K if you want an i7, do more than gaming. Maybe it might be worth it for you. $338.99. Liquid CPU cooler such as Corsair Hydro Series H100i. That'll uh, throw you back $118.99. Um, if you want a full tower case, because I do include a mid tower case in this build, you can get this Rosewell Gaming uh, Thor V2, which is a huge case and great for its price. Or if you want a better, faster SSD, this is a very top notch uh, SSD. This uh, and a huge one, a one terabyte SanDisk Extreme Pro uh, at uh, 960 gigabytes, but you know, for the most part, a terabyte for $439.99. And now going on to the $1,000 gaming PC build in the month for June 2015. It comes out to approximately $1,006. Processor, same thing. Intel Core i5-4690K. Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo 3124. You might notice this build has changed very, very little uh, from last month's. And the uh, motherboard, Asus Z97A, $149.99. The two motherboards from the $1,500 and the $1,000 build are completely interchangeable. So if I would suggest you going through the specs of each and deciding which, depending on if you're going with the 1500 or even the thousand dollar build, which you like better. They're both very great motherboards. So I'll leave it up to you to go, I like that one <laughs> based on what I need. Uh, but otherwise you can keep them within what the recommended builds that I have here and go with that and you'll be just fine. Uh, for the graphics card, the EVGA GeForce GTX 970, a fantastic uh, graphics card for the cost at $324.99. Uh, RAM, Crucial Ballistic Sport 8 gig gigabyte kit, $54.99. Hard drive, Seagate 1 terabyte uh, hard drive for uh, $50.97. No SSD, but there are is an SSD in the alternatives below. Power supply, EVGA 650 watt, 650 G1, $79.99. The case, this is a new case, so this is a new addition to the $1,000 build. It is a newer release case, this Antec Builder. P70, and that comes out. It's a kind of a cheaper, newly released case. Not, it's not cheap. Well, it's cheaper than the higher end cases. That's what I'm trying to say. But it's 5427, and it's a very nice looking case. Uh, optical drive, light on, same as the all the other builds. The light on 24 times SATA, uh, eighteen dollars and twenty five cents, coming out to a thousand five dollars eighty one cents currently. Moving on to the alternatives for the one thousand dollar build. Uh, if you want a an SSD. <laughs> How about this uh, SanDisk Extreme Pro 240 gigabyte SSD for $139.99? This was the previous SSD included in the $1,500 build last month. Uh, in the future, if you want to upgrade your graphics card or want more graphics power, you can SS, <laughs> SS, you can SLI your EVGA GeForce GTX 970 with another one for $329.99. Uh, if you have a tons of a ton of media and you need that more hard drive space and you want it on the cheap. Upgrade to two terabytes for seventy-four ninety-nine, such as a Seagate two terabyte uh, hard drive, or if you want a more affordable liquid CPU cooler, this Cor Corsair Hydro Series H eighty I is ninety-nine ninety-nine. And now for the six hundred dollar gaming PC build in the month, it is at six hundred nineteen dollars this month, a little over budget, but I did not want to sacrifice performance for a few bucks, so I the build for the most part stayed the same. And I wanted it to stay the same because last month we upgraded to the AMD FX8320 processor, uh, $136.48. That was an upgrade from the previous FX6300 processor. So, because uh, the prices on those all went down, became much more affordable, and we were able to squeeze them into the $600 build. Uh, for the motherboard, we have a, uh, this Gigabyte GA78LMT uh, Micro ATX. Motherboard, $57.99. It's a very compact mi motherboard, hence the micro ATX. And so this makes it, this build a nice compact build as the case is also a micro ATX case. Um, for the graphics card, EVGA GeForce GTX 960, uh, $199.99. Um, RAM, Crucial Ballistic Sport, 8GB kit, $52.99. Hard drive, Seagate Barracuda, 1TB hard drive. Uh, and then for $50.97. The power su supply, EVGA, 600 watt, 600B. Power supply, $59.99. And then for the case, like I said, it's a micro ATX case. Uh, it's compact, very nice. Uh, the Silverstone uh, Tech Micro ATX PS08B case, $39.99. Uh, it's kind of a nice little case and it'll kind of 
tuck away under a desk nicely or in the corner or wherever you want to put it uh, and just be kind of and it's more portable uh, depending if you uh, carry your computer around a lot or not um, optical drive light on uh, 24 times optical drive $18.25 so this build like I said comes up to $618.89 little over budget but worth it and the prices may go down a bit as the month goes on for some upgrades or alternatives for this build th last month I accidentally included the hyper 212 Evo CPU cooler in this build that was completely wrong because uh, the clearance doesn't quite clear uh, the small Silverstone tech case uh, for it being so small uh, I think it's 140 millimeters that it sticks out I could be wrong now that's coming off from memory here but uh, it would be just a few millimeters over the width of the case so that doesn't work um, so if you want a CPU cooler you want to keep the temperatures down if you overclock your processor quite a bit you want this uh, a low profile CPU cooler such as the Zalman uh, one that you see here this CNP S8900 CPU cooler for $40.26. Yeah, if you want a, an alternative case, this one, I quite like this one. This Corsair Carbide Series Air 240. It has a little more room as well. $79.99. Want more hard drive space? 2 terabyte Seagate Barracuda, $76.65. How about an SSD upgrade? This is a more affordable SSD. This OCZ uh, uh, Storage Solutions 100 Series 240 gigabyte version for $59.99 um, that does it for the three builds the $600, $1,000, dollars builds like I said there's an attachment to this article but you have to go to the website to see it uh, otherwise this video would be going forever uh, but there's uh, mice, keyboards, monitors, suggestions for kind of the higher end mid range and more of the the more affordable ones they're all good uh, I even include a 4K monitor this month to accommodate, not to accommodate, but to pair it with the $1,500 builds GTX 980 Ti graphics card, which can easily do 4K. <laughs> uh, so uh, check that out. But until next month, I'll see you next month. <laughs> Thank you.